Hey, Woo. candid, clean in conversations. Hey. Everybody gather round, this is a celebration that Woo. we're still standing. Yo, yo. Big up Katrina, she the inspiration. Let's Came go. up from the bottom, she here with the motivation. Hey. Here to teach and inspire, help you aim higher, help you dream bigger, get what you desire. Real, recognized, real, iron, sharp as iron. Let us grow your cleaning business. She ain't playing around, yeah, the queen mean business. Hey. Just stick around, get down with a podcast. Now. Hold it down, here we go, foot on the gas. Candid, clean, and conversation. And welcome back to the podcast. Today, I got another special guest for you guys. Miss of uh, the Hustle Network, okay? <laughs> the Hustle yeah. Network, I need to get your full name. This is the name of her company, but what is your full name? Uh, my name is Raylan Dunlap. Miss Raylan, okay, you guys. So Miss Raylan actually has a YouTube channel as well. And she'll be shouting out her YouTube channel and all her connects at the end of the video. But Miss Raylan, I'm so happy to have you all part of the show. Me and my assistant have been watching some of your YouTube videos. And we say, hey, we need to reach out to her, connect, and get her on this podcast. So what's been going on, Miss Miss Hustle Network? <laughs> Nothing much, just really staying busy and, uh, you know, just trying to grow my streams of income and gain as many hosts as possible and and really my focus now is um having a team that that seems to be the biggest hurdle um so that that's really been it great great so we're gonna get into all of that yeah, don't worry you guys we're gonna get into it okay so first of all just give them a little background on yourself tell them who is raven So Raylan, uh, I am from California. I moved to Michigan about four years ago. Um, My husband actually uh, was got incarcerated in California and expedited to Michigan. I moved me and my two girls here. I was actually uh, my daughter was eight and my youngest was only three months. Um, It was a big transition, uh, definitely different. And uh, I have a moving marketplace. So at this time I had a moving company. I literally left my two trucks there. I left one with my movers and I said, Hey, I'm going to start booking moves and I'm going to make 20% off of it. I'm selling you my truck for 500. And that kind of kept us afloat for a while. And, uh, I've always like tried different things, but after watching crystal balls video on YouTube, um, about Airbnb and the cleaning industry, that literally like sparked something in me. Um, I've always seen videos and stuff on YouTube, but it just made me like really think like, dang, I've probably been missing out on this money, like especially like Airbnb. So I literally just started in November and it's blossomed since then. Wow. So um, what's the name of your cleaning company? Uh, Clean Bee Cleaning Solutions. Wow, I love that. Clean Bee Cleaning Solutions. Now, what do you specialize in? Do you specialize in Airbnbs now? We do. Um, So I first off started with um, Airbnb and then residential. I do hold a small office commercial cleaning. um, But, you know, with residential, it's just beginning to be like just so many different obstacles. And I just solely want to focus on Airbnb. Mm -hmm. But you know, the money is good with residential too. So I, I'm trying to, you know, do dibble and dabble on a little bit of everything. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So I would have thought that you would have probably had um, been dibbing and dabbing in the move in, move out industry, being that you had your movers and your moving truck and stuff like that. I thought that that might have been your lane, but Airbnbs are sweet too. Okay. <laughs> so explain to us um, what struggles you've been going through you know experiencing in airbnb land so airbnb um to be honest my biggest struggle was um being in multiple places um and trying to do this all on my own so i don't have any help with my girls i mean i could ask my mother-in-law and things like that but i've always been the type of person like i don't want to depend on anyone i don't want to have to drop my kids off and 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 have to worry about childcare, et cetera. Like it's just been us. So the biggest part is having all these hosts and multiple things in one day. Every Sunday for the past four weeks, I've been doing five Airbnb cleanings by myself with my two kids. Wow. Um, it's tough. It it really is tough. Um and we've been getting through it and like the biggest thing is finding reliable people. Me and my kid literally have made um, these flyers and we've been hitting all the hotels. 
uh, to talk to the housekeepers. We've been going to like Mexican uh, um, supermarkets, a laundry uh, facility places. Like I've used Indeed, I've used Craigslist. I've just been like out here trying to find people because I know that I don't want to be in a bind where if it's the same day check-in and there becomes an issue like, hey, this was supposed to be done and et cetera, et cetera. So that's just been really the hardest part is finding reliable people because a lot of times people just don't want to work now. And it's like, I'm paying you most of the profit. I'm just wanting you to make sure that you're reliable and you're providing five-star cleanings. Right, so that's been right, right. So that's, that's been one of the struggles. That's the struggles for me too. I'm thinking that's the struggles for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> but um, So are you looking for employees or contracts? I'm looking for contractors. Oh, okay, cool, good, good. You're you're like me. I'm a I'm a fan of the contractor world, baby. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so yes, definitely contractors. How many um people do you have on your team right now? So right now I only have four for residential. So while I'm cleaning Airbnb, they're only running the residential side. It's been really hard to transition them from going from residential to Airbnb. Why is because the area that is um, the most busiest with Airbnb is not in my area. It is like 26, 30 minutes away. And so nobody wants to travel. They're saying it's too far. So that has been the issue. Okay. Okay. Have you, have you ever experienced any insurance claims yet? I have not. No. Oh, see, lucky you. <laughs> the more you grow, be careful what you ask for, because the more you grow, oh, it's bound to happen sometimes. You know, it just happened to me. I got my first claim this year. <laughs> really? for um someone a cleaner went inside and, and broke a glass inside the refrigerator you know oh wow things happen you know what I'll, I mean that's I'll why you gotta you, have insurance I have not had an issue with insurance but I will tell you something that I have had happen uh lately and and this is something I think this is a learning lesson for me and for a lot of people in the cleaning industry is I went on a, I'm sorry, I didn't go on a residential clean, but I had quoted a residential clean for 629 for uh, two cleaners and a deep clean. The house was 3,800 square feet. I honestly feel like that was too low. Um, the cleaners did clean for eight hours, literally eight hours. And I paid them 70% of the job. So they made about 220 a piece okay. and I would get the remaining. So it was Friday. I had to pay them for the, for the week, right? For, Cause I right. pay them every Friday. So while I sent the invoice over and this was um, mistake number one, I was always supposed to have a card on file. Um, and I ended up sending the invoice. She gets to the home and she's like, everything looks good, but you didn't include the basement and you didn't include the laundry room. And I'm like, you know, I sent you a checklist with the email. And then in that email, it shows everything that's supposed to be covered. No basement, no laundry room. Mm -hmm. And I specifically told her, make sure you take a look at the um, checklist. Well, she didn't want to pay. And it was like two weeks. And I'm like, oh, my God, like I'm out of four hundred and some dollars. You know, wow. it's like, Damn. you know what I mean? Like it kind of pissed me off. To be honest, I was crying. I, I was pissed. And uh, I had put this on Facebook. I had put this on a Facebook group. And I said, hey, guys, you know, this is a mistake that I made. This is the details. And everyone responded. It was like 52 comments and people were like, you need to do a notice of lien and a theft of uh, services, like report a theft of services. And I'm like, well, what is that? And how do I do that? And so I ended up going to this website that a guy gave me and I just put up like a, I sent her like a professional email and I just said, hey, I reported you for a theft of services. I've also did a notice of, of lien. Man, that invoice was paid within moments. I'm not even lying. I'm not even lying. Like, I was like, what? Is oh, yeah. This? oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can put a lien right. on it. Put a lien on it, y'all. That, right. that was a big bar, you guys. I hope you guys got that. Put a lien on it, okay? And, and yeah. she tried to run away with the money, man. That's crazy. And also, you know, getting them, whenever you have those uh, residential clients that have those, like, five hundred dollars six hundred dollar whatever try to get half up front at least because you yeah. got to pay your people you know what i mean you got to make sure that they're straight you know and get that that credit card put it on file you know to secure that at least these are little things that you can do she did the service agreement you did everything else right though you did the yeah. service agreement and she still tried to run away with the money 
that's 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 sad. It's and it's people out there like that that will do us like that. So and it's not you. like yeah. and it's not. And I even I even offered her. I was like, hey, I'll take mm-hmm. off sixty dollars for those um, areas that we didn't clean, but it is on the checklist. But I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. So I lowered it down to like five sixty nine. And it's like her husband is a doctor. He's got three medical offices. She just truly chose not to pay it after. You know, if, if someone says like, if you're taking off the money, okay, so she's not charging me for this. Let me go ahead and pay for this invoice. She still wanted to avoid it, and boy, yeah. I. Went, I was sick for those two weeks. I go lie. I was like, damn. Exactly, exactly. Because you still had to pay your ladies. Exactly. Yeah. See, I'm glad she's talking about this, you guys, because these are some of those, you know, challenging moments that you will experience. And everybody doesn't have tough skin. Okay. Everybody can't deal with it the professional way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got well, some people that they don't know how to deal with those situations right, but you did the right thing. You did right. Okay. So let's talk about some softwares. What are what are name one of your favorite softwares that you like to use in your cleaning company? Um, so I love to use Square. I think Square is just it's just easy to send invoices, especially for Airbnb, because I invoice okay. every two weeks. Mm-hmm. Um I like to use Jobber for residential for uh, dispatching to the contractors, but I also use um, Taskbird, which is, I couldn't, I kept texting my contractors, hey, are you available during this time and that time? Because I know they're contractors, I can't really set them at a a time and say like, hey, you're going to do this job on this day, I have to work with the times that they're available. So I use Taskbird so they can block off the days that they don't want to work, and then, um, what else? Square Jobber, that really is, that really is it. I really mainly just use those two. Awesome, awesome. One of my favorite is Slack. I don't know what. Oh yeah. Do. I don't yeah. know what we would do without Slack, man. I, I, I mean, that is like the motherboard right there. That it's a communication app, you guys. I, I love Slack. I don't know what I would do without it. But Square is good too, because I use Square too, and I like the fact that um, you can get a loan from Square. Like yes. they keep on sending me this thing, like you, we can you give you a loan today, like we can give you a loan. I'm like, wow. And they won't um do any credit checks or anything like that. They just go by the revenue that yes. the company makes. So I thought okay. that that was cool too about Square. Yes, you know, absolutely. Whenever you get in the hurdle, you know, you can use Square and they'll give you a loan. All right. That's if you're already using Square and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So um, what city and state are you in? I'm in uh, Auburn Hills, Michigan. In Michigan? Yes. Okay. Where do you see your company at in the next year or two? Uh, so the next year or two, uh, within actually the next six months, I, I don't want to be cleaning at all. Um, right. Uh, I, I have so many hosts and so much work. And it's just really finding the people. So I would hope to have at least eight contractors on the residential side and at least uh, six on the Airbnb side. I do want to get more commercial, um, but I need to make sure that I'm focusing on one thing for right now, because if I don't, if I have all this different stuff and no people to cover, I'm going to find myself in a bind. Yeah, most most I'm not definitely. Keep you all day. I thank you so much for sharing your story and definitely. let the people know where they can find you. At. Um, so you can find me on Instagram at Raylan Dunn. I don't. I'm not really a social media type of person. I really just use it to network and to um, you know, get host, etc. Um, mm-hmm. but you can also find me on YouTube at the Hustle Network. I also have an ebook about the Airbnb cleaning business. Mm-hmm. It's just that I've learned basically um, and extra ways that you're able to make money within the Airbnb. Uh, That's really it. All right. It's been a pleasure speaking with you and we got a network. I know you got a podcast or something. I thought I seen that you're working on some kind of of, of YouTube channel, something. If you want your girl on there, hey, reach out. You're more than welcome to do an interview with you. Okay. Definitely. All righty. All right. Until next time, you guys, we are out of here. If you guys want to get in touch with the Hustle Network, you know where to find her, okay? Until next time, I'm out of here. Hey.
Candid, cleaning conversations. Everybody gather round, it's a celebration. That we're still standing. Big up Katrina, she the inspiration. Came up from the bottom, she here with that motivation. Here to teach and inspire. Help you aim higher, help you dream bigger. Get what you desire. Real, recognize, real, iron, sharp as iron. Let us grow your cleaning business. She ain't playing around, yeah, the queen mean business. Just stick around, get down with a podcast. Hold it down, here we go, foot on the gas. Candid, cleaning conversation.